It is absolutely wonderful in the morning to get up and to open your curtains and think, aha, it's a mountains. Hi, my name is Angela and I have brought this stone here from Bruges. We're actually in the centre of a town called uh, Merano. Merano is what, a very interesting town. Um, it first became important in Roman times. There was a Roman camp here, which meant there was lots of traffic of going through the town or near the town. Meran, from its character, is certainly not an Italian city. Uh, half Italian, half Austrian. You have to know that this part of Italy was part of Austria until the end of the First World War. So after First World War, South Tyrol, South Tyrol passed to Italy. And we, uh, since 1918, we are part of Italy, but our roots are in, in Austria and in the Austro-Bavarian traditions. This EU website, um, the intention now is to market Merano as the center of a European area which would appeal to visitors who use that website. There's more of an Austrian historic tradition here than there is of an Italian because the Italians who lived here now came from all over Italy. So really they haven't got that historical background. But the Austrian culture, traditions, costumes, way of life, way of thinking, political tendencies also are still very, very strong, yeah. It's not easy to live uh, in a high mountain. Alevino is a, a very long valley situated in 1,800 meters. Uh, in the past, uh, this uh, was uh, a problem because the, the community for six months uh, was isolated for the world. So we have to use to live uh, in a very hard condition. The arcade state back at least 500 years, uh, built to protect people um, of the town from the rain and the snow in the winter. And there used to be farmer houses, yeah. We have a good number of cow, and of course we have all the product uh, from uh, the land of the mountain. So is uh, our milk, our butter, our yogurt, and we have a special uh, building. This is the Latteria of Livigno. We take and we bring the milk just of Livigno, only Livigno, and we, here we transform the milk in yogurt, cheese milk and our products. Mountain farmers also have hotels or a guest house, maybe the wife has got a coffee shop, maybe she's got a small supermarket, yeah. And of course uh, it's, uh, it's good for uh, the people uh, who arrive here because uh, they leave uh, one week uh, close to the family. The arcades are also the home of some of the nicest restaurants as well. Speck, ah, raw smoked pig meat which you have to cut very 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 finely. You can eat your speck or your cheese with either the beer or a good local red wine. We have a special beer uh, it's named Kronen. We brew a pils, we brew a dark bock beer. We have, we have a very large range of beer specialities. The new slogan is good because it always lived here. So we want to explain that our unique selling proposition is the landscape where, where the brewery is located. So we have a strong commitment to, to, the, to the place where we are. And um, 
this makes the beer special. We have the water coming from the mountains here around us. Our water goes not in the Mediterranean Sea, but in the Black Sea. So it's another strange uh, thing uh, about Livigno. It's uh, strange because the old name of our river, the river is Aqua Grande. Aqua Grande is a very most uh, exclusive area for relaxing, for wellness. It's very bigger, it's uh, unique in uh, Europe. It's uh, 22,000 meters. Yeah, the wellness is particular because it's after skiing. You can have from four o'clock about. It's a lot of people because after skiing it's all closed, and then after Aqua Grande you can go in for by night, uh, the pub, uh, disco. But from four until eight o'clock about, uh, it's a lot of people after skiing. They come, of course, in the winter time for uh, ski and uh, for uh, relax. We are European destination, we live in the European system and uh, we want to promote Livigno with um, uh, the right main. I think that you, it's uh, perfect. Tourists who come in spring are usually um, people who like to walk and they love this feeling of the trees opening out and the leaves and the buds are becoming flowers. It's wonderful to be here at the time of the apple blossom. Everything is this wonderful pale pinky colour. There's even a certain perfume into it and it really is lovely. The tourism uh, that come to Livigno uh, is a young story. Before it was very simple to live here. Simple but difficult. We did a tunnel that connect to suicide, um, start the, the tourism and the commerce. For Livigno, it's a way to connect with Europe. The center of Europe, the center of Europe is everywhere in Europe. I've never even thought about that, to be quite honest. Now you've got me on a spot. Why is it necessary to have a center of Europe? Of course, I, I was born here and uh, I live here, but I'm a citizen of uh, the world and the Europe, so... Isn't it more interesting to have various centres and that each one has a different character and some sort of a different kind of flair? It's important to discover uh, this place.